녹음하게 꼭 해야 돼. 하이아이뉴나강앤아이머시니얼리서처리서처오브이전시오디펜스디벨롭먼트앤투데이세미나이즈어바웃더게링센서데이터프롬안드로이드스마트폰포유어프로젝트어에즈유노올레디스마트폰
so I uh, suggest you use Android OS for your projects. Uh, about this seminar, uh, this is not about Android basic lecture. Uh, it it means it's not about Hello World printing. Uh, this is uh, I'm I focused on your project only, and I I will provide you uh, some codes for your project, and you can. Uh, edit the source code and this seminar is about almost the explana explanation of the example source and uh, I think you should know some about programming uh, background uh, using C++ or Java for uh, understanding this seminar. Uh, Android Studio is uh, an Andro Android development environment. Uh, you can download the Andro Android Studio this URL and just install and run. Then you can uh, see this, this window Uh, uh, most of parts is very similar to the uh, Visual Studio. So you can see the projects and uh, file structure and codes and this is debugging field. You can see some errors or um, log. So you can see like this. Uh, you can see the file tree here. You can see this code and some XML for settings. And you can see some log here. I already connect my phone on uh, phone to this notebook, so uh, this log is for this phone right now. Before you uh, start programming, you should download some on Android SDKs because Android have many versions, as you know. So, uh, if you want some specific Android version, you should download it on your Android Studio. And just you can run your app this this one this button and uh, same as Visual Studio you can use breakpoint using this button and if you have uh, if you don't have any Android device you can uh, use your virtual device on on the Android Studio. So, if you uh, click this button, then you can see the your uh, real connected devices and uh, these virtual devices. You can make. So today's goal is uh, about two example. Well, first one is uh, collecting the accelerometer data of your smartphone and write down write down on a txt file and second one is 
or writing the history that you turn and off the screen. Uh, so let's start the programming. Uh, first one, you should know about the uh, Android. Uh, it is Android components. Uh, it is very special characteristic of Android. When you make some programs using C++, you can use a main function uh, to, to, enter, to enter your uh, programming. But uh, there is no entry point like main function in Android programs. So uh, there is four kinds. There are four kinds of components. Uh, components and you the app runs following the life cycle of each component. Uh, it means you if you make a, a, a component then the create when the component created components is created the or system is started. So uh, you should know about the uh, four kinds of components. The uh, first one is activity. Uh, this is the uh, most important one because this is a uh, user interface. So at least one activity uh, sh uh, should there, there should be at least one activity in one app. And second one is service. Uh, this is for background running. Uh, you can see, uh, for example, when you listen uh, listen the music, uh, you you did you cannot see uh, any running process if you turn off your uh, apps, but you you uh, can hear the music, then you should use a uh, service for background running. And third one is broadcast receiver. Uh, uh, this is for getting some information from Android OS, not, app, not application. And last one is content provider. Mm. This is for controlling external apps like gallery or phone book. So uh, today uh, I use I will use activity service and broadcast receiver. And last one is intent. This is not uh, one of uh, component. This is not a, a components, but uh, this is very important because this is for <laughs> uh, transferring data between two components so you use you should use intent uh, if you have uh, one more component <coughs> and uh, in the android manifest um, xml dot xml and you you should uh, define uh, some Android components and intents you will use. Mm. And every permission is requested <coughs> on the Android manifest. This is the Android manifest file. This is a uh, uh, necessary necessary file for the one Android project. And you you can see some uh, activity settings and intent and service. And also, if you want some um, access your uh, hardware hardware of your Android phone. Uh, this one is for the external storage like SD card and this one is uh, for the sensors accessing for sen accessing to sensors. 
the first example is uh, collecting the accelerometer data of your smartphone. So I will I will show you the app. Oh, sorry. left and right inverse but okay first button is a uh, service start and second button is service stop so uh, you uh, click the start button the recording is starting and the press stop button just stop recording there is no any uh, UI on your apps, but you can see the file for this is your accelerometer data on your cell phone. Uh, So, uh, first one is software design. Uh, you start the app and touch the start button, then uh, getting the sensor data on the background. Uh, you can get the data while you, if you, uh, if you, if your screen is off or while you use another app. And after that, you if you touch the stop button, uh, the smartphone stop getting the sensor data and write it down on a text file. And you can see the text file on your file explorer app in your smartphone or just transfer the data to your PC. So uh, first, we should make an activity for the UI, and we should make some buttons, and uh, you should click your buttons, so uh, we should make some uh, button click listener. And this program is running, uh, running background, so we should make service a service and uh, we should make the sensor event listener because we should uh, gathering some sensor data and last one is the file out for writing down uh, the data on your text file so first activity is created and in the activity you should make some service setting then you can call the service then the service is created and the sensor uh, you should make some sensor setting in the service then you can get the sensor data in the service then and then you can uh, write down your data on the txt file so first one is uh, make an UI default UI is created on activity main.xml uh, when you create a new a new Android project and you can see the XML codes uh, and preview on the Android Studio like this 
uh, the activity main is in the resource layout activity main then you can see the preview like this you can edit the code or this uh, you are this uh, preview on this preview you can make like just drag and drop and uh, you can mm, see the views uh, this means uh, some buttons mm, in here the palette and You can you can draw each view uh, by mouse dra drag and drop or by programming uh, XML code directory. Mm, you can mm, make some UI use the layout or uh, the mm, uh, you can use layout, but uh, I I will not I will uh, not explain about this uh, detail but you can search uh, on the Google how can use how can make this the UI that's very e easy and uh, please don't use specific pixel number because the compatibil compatibility problem uh, some smartphone uh, cannot show any buttons if you use a specific pixel number and this is the uh, this is for the starting your apps uh, if you start your app then running on create function of your first activity uh, the whole program is mm, why I mm, should talk about the uh, life cycle mm, there is no uh, I said there is no entry point <coughs> of the Android apps uh, then you uh, the entry points of Android apps maybe uh, the first activities and on create function because uh, the running the app uh, the first activity should uh, create it then uh, the first function you can call this uh, on create function so you should uh, set on set the UI on on create function like uh, buttons and text아, 이거 중요한 부분이라 한국어로 조금만 설명하고 넘어가겠습니다. 이게 액티비티 라이프 사이클이라는 게, 그, 이제 인트로, 처음에 이제 엔트리 포인트가 없기 때문에 라이프 사이클이, 라이프 사이클에 따라서 액티비티가 생성이 되고 사라지는데, 그 순서에 따라서 펑션이 불러지기 때문에, 어, 처음에 이제 크리에이트 됐을 때부터 없어질 때까지 어떤 펑션에 어떤, 어떤 기능을 넣어야 되는지를 라이프 사이클을 따라서 어떤 타이밍에 이 기능이 들어가야 되는지 생각해서 넣어야 되기 때문에 라이프 사이클이 중요한데 설명이 좀 어렵네요. Uh, this is fixed, fixed uh, life cycle. Any activities. There is uh, Life cycle for activities and and also service. So uh, if you use the service, uh, 
service should create it, right? So the onCreate function is the start function. Then if you uh, if you do some if you want to do something, uh, the background running uh, when the background running is over, uh, you should the you should that function should be uh, developed on the dis on destroy functions. Next, we have to make some buttons on the view on the activity like this. So, uh, as you can see, on in the in on create function, uh, you can uh, set the activity main like this. So loading your XML file, <coughs> then in this XML file on the uh, activity, and uh, in the XML file you can make some ID for uh, each button, like this, button start and button stop. So uh, first uh, you should load the button uh, using the ID, find view by ID, then uh, you should connect the buttons and the listeners. So you should uh, use this function. Then uh, if you touch your screen, the on click function is called, then uh, you can use this case switch case uh, when you touch the start button uh, this this part is running and when you touch the stop button this part is running. Next one is service. There is two kinds of service. Uh, first one is unbounded service and second one is bounded service. Bounded service is uh, for connecting several activities to one service, like uh, server-client relationship. Uh, but the unbounded service is for uh, one activity to one service. So this is more simple, so I use this unbounded service on our example code. Uh, then how is the uh, service created? Uh, you should call the service on your activity. Then the onCreate function of service is called then what we should do for our uh, project uh, first on, on in the on create function you should make some sensor setting and on destroy function you should uh, make some codes for file writing and saving uh, I uh, as I told about the intent before, uh, activities uh, send a signal to start the service uh, using intent. So you can use just this start service function and like this. Uh, the start service function calls uh, onCreate 
function of service if there is no service. But if there is some, uh, there is a service, service exists, uh, the start service function calls uh, service on start command function. So uh, you, you can use the for right purpose and <coughs> stop service function calls uh, on destroy function of your service code. So in the service function, uh, in the service code, uh, you can see the on create function like this. Uh, you can see the sensor settings and on destroy function you can see some file things like this uh, about the sensor setting uh, you should set the sensor event listener like button click listener so uh, in the on create function uh, you should uh, define what sensor you should you you want to use. Mine is accelerometer, and uh, it, if there is that sensor, uh, you should uh, you should uh, register the listener for the sensors. And then after the register the sensor, the on sensor changed function can be used. If the sensor data uh, changes, the event is so called. Uh, so uh, I want to save this data, periodic data. So when the sensor changes, um, this one is for the uh, 100 millisecond. So uh, every every 0 0.1 second, uh, I make some uh, text for uh, saving accelerometer data. Uh, and you should not forget uh, the get getting access permission for sensor data uh, uh, in the Android manifest XML. You should uh, add this code. And next one is file writing. After gathering your accelerometer data, uh, you should uh, write the file. Then uh, on destroy functions of service, uh, this function co uh, is called when the stop button is clicked, then uh, the gathering data can uh, be written on the text file like this. This is a very simple code because uh, this uh, this one is just a setting and you should append your text data on your uh, writer then that's it you can you can get the uh, find the txt file and uh, also you should uh, setting your access permission for SD card like this code So uh, actually, I already show you the program, <coughs> but one more time. Okay. Uh, you just click this buttons, run, then. 
can see the apps. Like this. This one is uh, I made in this uh, seminar, but there's no function. Like this. And this one is uh, recording start button. Then you can get some accelerometer data in the background. Uh, you can get the data if you turn off your smartphone and after uh, click your stop button uh, just the text file is created was created like this Okay, the first example is uh, completed, then uh, next one is second example, but this one is very similar to first one, so um, the write down the history, writing the history the, that you turn on and off the screen of your smartphone. So I can show you the apps before the explanation. The same, same UI, and just click the start button, then. You can off, on, off, on your smartphone screen, then you can get the file which you can uh, show you the time for smartphone on and off time the most of UI is same so I pass the explanation for that sorry Mm, first, you should uh, make some software design for getting the screen on of history. Uh, first, uh, start the app and touch the start button. Then, the in the background, getting the info about your uh, screen on of on of the on of info information. And next, uh, you can touch the stop button for writing down your data on text file so you should make we, sh we should make an activity for UI and button button click listener then uh, we should get some information about the screen on off uh, this information uh, can be uh, can be get uh, got from the Android OS because it's not for the app function. So you can use broadcast receiver for that getting uh, for getting that information. And uh, for background program uh, background running, we can use service and file out a function. Uh, this one is a little bit complicated uh, 
than a uh, previous one. Uh, first, the activity is created, and in the activity uh, has some uh, service setting, and activity call the service. Then in the service, you should make some uh, broadcast receiver setting. But uh, you did, uh, you will not call broadcast receiver on the service because this one is the independent one. And uh, if broadcast receiver receives some uh, information, then it uh, sends the data to the service. So uh, most of the information can get the info, uh, get can get the service about the broadcast shiver uh, you, you should set some information for uh, information of broadcast shiver on the service uh, setting is on on uh, is on on create function of the service like this uh, the intent filter is new one but it is a uh, simple simply making uh, the intent list available intent list uh, in case of ours uh, screen on and off then we can register the broadcast receiver like this intent filter using this filter then uh, the broadcast receiver in the broadcast receiver there is no on create function <coughs> because uh, broadcast receiver is for just getting some uh, information from Android OS uh, if any information from OS is received then on receive function is called. So you can make some function like this. Uh, if the uh, so information is uh, screen off, then uh, save the screen off is true. And if the information is uh, screen on, then you can save the screen off fun screen off variable is false and then the send the data to the service using the start service function uh, as I mentioned before uh, if there uh, there is service the service the service exists then the start service function calls on start comments of, of service so if you call this function on the broadcast receiver, then we can connect this function on start command function on of your uh, service. So uh, getting the information, then send to service, then in the service we can do the the data like this uh, you can save the current time so this one can this one is very similar like this uh, even the activity main is same like this And Android manifest, you can see the service activity intent to filter and receiver. Oh, sorry, this is not about this. This is uh, actually 
end of my seminar, but uh, if you have any question, please ask me because uh, my English problem, so I cannot uh, explain the details. So if you have any question, please. Without the connection. Mm. Uh, sorry, there is no uh, way without the connection. Y you should this one. Then uh, you should connect uh, the phone to the uh, PC like this. Then, okay, uh, sorry. You can see this connected device like this. Then you can run the, your app on your device. If there uh, is no connect mm. connection, you cannot. Uh. Can we make an STD file of this uh, particular token? Uh, sorry? Uh, SDK. Uh, the Android file of this token. Uh, he's just trying to say if we can't uh, just make an app for that APK file to exchange to handle program so that we don't have to connect it to the wire. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you can you can do that but uh, you cannot get any uh, log, log, or errors, or uh, some. If you want, you can make the break point. Do, do you know the break point, right? Uh, if you make some break point like this, then you can see the all variable uh, while the system running, but uh, if you uh, install the APK file, then you cannot get any information for this debugging process. But yeah, you can you can you can do running the app. That's the same thing, but if you run it, the function will be able to use it. There are some parts in the middle of the screen. If you look at the logs, or if you die, 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 you can do debugging like this. You can do it like this, but you can do it like this. 뭐 만약 중단점을 찍어서 중간에 뭐 배리어블을 확인하겠다. 그것도 이제 이렇게 찍어 이렇게 꽂아서만 하면 가능. 그때 배리 들이 컨 오니 듀링 더 디벨롭먼트 타임. can running correctly uh, while disconnecting the cable, but uh, you can you cannot get any debugging information. Okay. That question is needed for debugging. Right, right. How about using wireless connection? Uh, the debugging cannot support the 
wireless connection. For debugging. Any, any. Uh, for debugging, uh, you cannot uh, get the wireless wireless connection because uh, there is some security problem. So uh, only you can use the debugging in the wire wire connection. About the homework, uh, I uh, I offer, I provide I will provide you some codes. Then you can run the codes on your device or the virtual device. Then just uh, send me the the data the reason. This one is maybe not the provided code running and capture the result or the the text file with a text file just send uh, no not text file just capture the uh, screen. This is not. Uh, this is similar program. Uh, this is similar program to uh, today's seminar, but it's similar. Uh, it's a little bit different program. Then you just install it and run. Then. Uh, if you start the app, the first the first activity cre created created then uh, the first function is on create function. Then uh, if you make some program, you should. Some you you should need uh, you need some settings uh, like variable or the another service setting or like that. Then you so you use on create function. You can make some settings. Oh, maybe service. And uh, after on create the uh, activity is uh, toast on the on start function on start command function actually on start 
recommend the function. Then, so if you uh, turn off the screen, if you turn off the screen, or uh, you can use the fused fused function. So the this whole life cycle is uh, it's like a flow. The pro flow of the program. Then, uh, if you want to call your service, if you if if the activity is destroyed, then you should call the service on destroy on on destroy function. Destroy function. Call service using intent. 한국어로 설명해 드릴게요. 이게 <웃음> 액티비티가 <웃음> 액티비티는 무조건 하나 있어야 되는 거고 하나 있어야 되는데 처음 딱 시작하면은 UI가 빵 뜨죠. 빵 뜨면 액티비티가 생성이 돼요. 그럼 생성이 되면은 온 크리에이트 펑션을 불러요. 그러면 온 크리에이트 펑션에서 하고 싶은 세팅 같은 걸다 해야겠죠. 왜냐면 시작됐으니까 프로그램이. 그러고 나면 크리에이트 다 됐으니까 그 다음에 스타트로 넘어가는 거죠. 스타트로 넘어가고 뭐 프로그램을 뭐 이렇게 화면을 잠깐 껐다 그러면 퓨즈로 갈 수도 있고 뭐 다시 키면 리줌으로 갈 수도 있고 이런 식으로 이제 펑션이 불러지는 거는 정해져 있는 거예요. 그 순서는 그러면 그 순서를 감안해서 내가 뭔가 기능을 넣고 싶은 데에다가 껴 넣어야 되는 거예요. 스크린 온 오프는 엄밀히 말하면 이벤트고 이벤트고 뭐 온크레이트 이런 건 펑션 원래 펑션이라고 하잖아요. 그게 뭐 특별한 개념은 아니고. 그렇죠. 그러니까 뭘 어떻게 할 거냐에 따라 다른데 지금 같은 경우엔 크리에이트 될때 서비스를 만들었고 서비스를 만들면 서비스도 똑같이 온크레이트부터 시작하잖아요. 그러면 서비스가 온크레이트에서 시작하면은 크리에이트 될때 서비스에 대한 세팅이 들어갈 거고 그럼 뭐 온, 서비스가 시, 시작이 됐으니까 스타트 코맨드로 넘어갈 거고 크리에이트 됐으니까 스타트 코맨드로 넘어갈 거고 스타트 코맨드에다가 본인이 서비스에서 돌리고 싶은 걸 넣을 거고 그러면 넣으면 걔는 계속 돌고 있는데 얘가 서비스 끝날 때 이제 실컷 돌고 있는데 막 프로그램 다 데이터 모았는데 이걸 써야 되잖아요. 그럼 쓸때 서비스가 끝나면서 써라 라고 할 거면 온 디스트로이에다가 써놓고 이제 액티비티에서 너 서비스 너 끝나 이렇게 하면 거기서 이제 아나 끝나니까 프로파일 써야 되는구나 이렇게 되는 거죠. Sensor data, you can make the sensors in the virtual device virtually, but uh, okay. you can create the virtual device like this, and you can make some camera, accelerometer, gyroscope, GPS. Proximity sensor, but this data is maybe the garbage, garbage data. But you can get some data uh, for uh, your project. Uh, maybe the device, uh, one Android, at least one Android device is needed because gathering the real data. But that's not the all part of your project, so I think that's not a problem.
Depending on the type of sensors. So I uh, show you the two examples because the accelerometer sensor can uh, get and run in the service, yeah, but the screen on off is or uh, can get on the broadcast receiver. Most of most uh, maybe, but most of sensors uh, can get the uh, can get in the service, but the screen on off is not a sensor, right? It's not a sensor thing. It's just uh, the function of your smartphone, not sensor. So this is different, but maybe. Right. Uh, what is the difference between events and events? Events, you, you cannot make your uh, event is occurred, not your, for, not your purpose. Intent is like uncontrollable. Right? That's event. That's event. Yeah, intent is your message between the components. Uh, so you mean only components can be uh, converted to intent, not event. Convert? Data, you mean data, transfer the data. Uh, no? Between components, activity, service. Uh, you, can, uh, you can just send some message uh, using the intent between the components. So maybe wake up or uh, send some data or you should quit. Like this. Sensor, there is no uh, stop point or any point. Sensor is running. Anything, right. right. We are just testing the portion of sensor. You are saying service has it, its own life cycle. So when I create a service, then service is running. And kept capturing or uh, receiving signals from the sensor anytime, all the time. So how can I exactly tell service when to start the capturing data? First, the activity called service, right? Then service is created. Created the, sorry. Activity called service, then uh, the service is created, so called the onCreate function on service 
then uh, in on crate you if you uh, setting your sensor register se sensor uh, register your sensor listener then the start getting data from sensors so if you this function if you uh, attach this function on on create function then the uh, starting to gathering data is start uh, the gathering data is started on the on create function but if you uh, if you this register listener function uh, if you uh, if you attach this listener on other like on start command or on destroy function then uh, when the function called the gathering data is started Listener가 시작되면 시작됩니다. 데이터를 바, 받는 것이. 그래서 이 리스너를 크리에이트 할때 부르면 크리에이트 할때 부르기 데이터를 가져오기 시작하는 거고 만약에 디스트로이 할때 해달라고 하면 디스트로이 할때 가져오기 시작합니다. You should not uh, make service, but one acti at least one activity should be exist. Should exist. Uh, if you don't need the background service, a uh, background running, if you don't need background running, uh, that's uh, that's my program. You can you can attach the sensor on the activity. But but then uh, you you if you uh, off your screen, then the data can you cannot get that get the sensor data because the activity is uh, destroyed. <coughs> if you use uh, if you want some background running you should you should make the sensor listener on the service because service provide the background running but uh, you can you can use uh, activity like uh, same purpose but uh, you cannot get sensor data uh, when you off the screen in the case So you may Thank you. Because we don't have enough time, we can delay your discussion session. Okay. Wednesday. At the beginning. Yes. Let's take a, a <coughs> the, the replacement next hour. I don't have the session on here. Replacement place. Makeup place. Makeup place. Can I can you show me? Is it is it this beside it already? Oh so so can we let's see this.